hello guys welcome back to new video and in today's video we are starting a new series of topic that is about the geometrical optics uh, now this is very important uh, topic of uh, the physics and uh, it is uh, one of the most important topic in terms of uh, the practical physics like this this has led us to uh, you know help us in a lot of different ways and for that i want to just show you the very very first picture over here like it has got to the advancement of mirrors the uh, the plan surfaces the spherical surface and the refracting surfaces, thin lenses, and optical instrument. Now, these optical instruments has led us to very important. And yeah, that's it. Uh, while if you are what light is, so uh, it's really important to look out the nature of light. Uh, so to understand these topics and for that uh, we have also got another series of the nature of light on our uh, channel as well so you can check that well let's start without wasting time so this geometrical optical basic term means uh, this geometrical optical optics sorry the basic term of this means like basically this is a branch of physics first of all and it deals with the uh, reflection and refraction of light now stop till here now what if uh, this statement, of, uh, statement is given like in, in your the branch of physics that deals with the reflection and refraction of light is termed as and there are options like uh, uh, different sort of options would be there something else so among that you may get some sort of confusion like uh, shall I go for the nature of light or uh, this geometrical optics but remember that it may do come into uh, the geometrical optic itself you know th that could be coming under the study of light if there is a particle option uh, for suppose I'm not known the proper word for study of light it is known as so uh, may maybe that is uh, something related to optics so until it is refraction of light and the application of these phenomena to optical instruments now this optical instruments is what we are discussing in our future videos and uh, of course these are some sort of instruments and uh, branch one uh, deals with the study of the image formation by the lenses now uh, we do see different images uh, so uh, these are all due to the lens now till here you may not be known about the importance of the lens but let me show you this picture this shows the uses of lens we are using microscopes we are using cameras we are using telescopes we are using magnifying glass we are using uh, binoculars we are using different other instruments so these are all uh, due to the lenses so yes of course they are very very practical and we are just uh, using for this sort of uh, sorry uh, the the designing instruments or designing uh, show pieces uh, like the, these look cool as well well if you talk about uh, lens first of all without going into the type of lens firstly uh, you know as I said before that application of the phenomena of the optical instruments now this whole term I just optical instruments is the the uses of lens these these all are the optical instruments now these all optical instrument or the whole geometrical optics is based on 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 substance that is on an instrument or uh, substance that is called as the lens. Now, what is a lens? So lens is a transparent refracting medium having two surfaces, of which one at least curved or both. Like, if you have got a piece of glass, for suppose this, you can this cannot be a lens. For for being a substance, a lens, it is said that it should be like this, or it should be like this. Like even uh, one side is curved or other is not curved like uh, we will discuss in the when we discuss the type of lens uh, so lens is of two types the converging lens and the diverging lens so you can see the difference in the picture uh, uh, this is the converging and the different time we will look at the reasons why it's converging and why it's diverging so here it is 
if you can see in this picture you can see that the concave lens is over here and you can see that when both lenses one is a uh, convexo concave convexo concave convexo concave now what happens this uh, this this is a uh, this is a thing convexo concave and once we have convex uh, sorry we have concave Concave or convex. This is this. In this case, is like uh, it goes like this, uh, like this, and like this. This is bad one. Leave it. I'm drawing another one. While remember that this is just an introduction. Uh, we have just discussed that uh, have you know going. Uh, 